very mediocre, but I suppose this is the big one. So he's raised, raised to the occasion, looking very strong. Michael Watson, your feelings on how it's gone so far? At the moment, in my, in my view, the fight's very even at the moment. Um, Harding is really bringing out all the stops now. You know, he's impressed me at the moment. All right, Michael, more from you and from Alan in good time. Thanks very much indeed. Let's rejoin the commentators, Alex Wallow, Don Deodor. Round four coming up. All right, here. Just get on out of here. Hang in your class. Okay. Right. Which round we're going to win? And your man, keep up with winning this round, okay? okay. And Alex, here in the beginning of the fourth round, as we look back at round number three, one of those rounds very difficult to score. That's one of those easily could go to either fighter. Well, Andres was so dominant, not so dominant, but dominated the first two that you kind of look for the other guy to, ooh, you look for the other guy uh, to make a move, and Harding typically made a move in that round. May have been even, Harding might have won it uh, just barely, but it was a round in which he got a little bit back into the fight. And you can sense the concern in Andre's corner in between rounds, Emmanuel Stewart telling Dennis, Dennis, you can't back up and you have to throw more punches. You have to get his respect. Right now, Harding's been hit with a lot of heavy punches, but he has no respect yet for Dennis Andre. We mentioned Dennis Andres was living in London, but came to Detroit to work under that man, Emmanuel Stewart, the patriarch of the Kronk Gymnasium in Detroit, one of boxing's more famous fable gyms. And these two are just trading some heavy-duty artillery. Very, very few jabs. Both men say they like the jab. Dennis Andres trying to develop one late in his career. There they both tried him. Oh, and a solid right from Andres. A good inside, and a good inside left with it, too, Dan. Ooh. Again, an uppercut from Andres, and then he backs out and follows it with a right. Oh, and a solid combination left and right from Andres. But Harding just takes it, doesn't move back. It keeps coming back. You have to wonder what Jeff Hardy could do for training, Alex, to prepare himself for this kind of punishment in the ring. Could, uh, hit walls with his chin, I guess. I don't mean, uh, he is getting wrapped with, with, with huge power punches. And every time he gets hit with those big punches from Andres, he, he doesn't back up. He oh. comes and counters on a good right, and that caught Hardy's attention. Another right from Andres scores. That hit glove. Harding is no longer bleeding, but it is swelling a little bit. Oh, and another right to the hairline, followed by a left. And, and right about now, you'd have to think Dennis Andres is saying to himself, my God, what do I have to hit this guy with? I think he's reaching a stage where if this kid doesn't have the effect of his punch, show the effect of the punches soon, Dennis will get discouraged. It's been fast and furious. The fourth round is coming to a close here in Atlantic City. Stay with us. Four rounds gone on this world uh, WBC light heavyweight championship. Michael Watson pretty even so far, but so far, this guy Harding is walking through everything Dennis yeah, Andrews has really, done. This is really um, boiling up to be a really good fight. Um, Harding's really impressed me. You know, I mean, I've really looked at him in his previous fights, but he's really bringing it out in this, in this particular fight. Alan Winter, 35 as against 24 as it goes on. Is the age going to become more and more important? Yeah, I think so, with the way the fight's going. I mean, Harding's taking plenty on the chin. How long he can take those punches for, I don't know. But what's happening, Andrews is getting to him early. But as the, the, the later part of the rounds are coming, he's, he's tending to tire and letting Harding come back into the, into the fight. But it's in, a, keep... in a word, are you worried about Andrews and the age? I'm not, no, I'm not worried because I think the determination is going to bring him through. Okay, let's find out how round five goes coming now. This is the beginning of round number five. Dennis Andres, the champion in the gold. Jeff Harding is challenger wearing the black. There we go. 
Jeff Harding to this point has shown that he can take a lot of punishment illustrated there by that right left combination from Andres. Emmanuel Stewart told Dennis in the corner in between rounds, keep throwing that right hand. He, he can hit him with it, and no man can take that punch for long. Jeff Harding has not only taken it, but he's also countered with good punches of his own, and there goes Harding down. Two, three, four, Jeff Harding getting up five, with a smile on his six, face, and seven, Alex, a mystery eight. blow. I didn't really see yeah. a, a well, big enough punch to drop him after what he's taken. Wait and see the replay, and then I didn't either. He's obviously not hurt. Only been down once before, never before as a pro, once before as an amateur. And uh, that will count as the first knockdown of his career. Ruled a knockdown by referee Joe Cortez, and he really had no choice. But it was obvious to us at ringside that Harding really wasn't affected at all by whatever it was that put him to the canvas. No, I, I don't think he was affected because I don't think he was hit very much. It, it had to be the feet getting tangled up somehow or just a cuff to throw him down. It's, maybe his own feet got tangled. We'd like to alert our ABC stations down the line that at the conclusion of this round, we'll be taking a station break. Well, that, that's an important event in the fight because that was a case where uh, now makes this a two-point round, even though he wasn't hurt, even though there was no apparent punch. Still a two-point round. Well, that's normally the way you can count on a judge to score, that when there's a knockdown, he has the, takes away the extra point. Of course, you can't imagine that these guys should go to a decision anyway, the way they're fighting. But they are both very, very well conditioned, as we said at the top. Jeff Harding content to hammer away at the ribs and work inside with the close, compact punches. Neither one of these two has any intention of moving back. And you and I were talking earlier, Alex, about the Australian fighters. I said that I thought Harding had a facial resemblance to Jeff Fennick. He has a fighting resemblance to Fennick as well. You know, he has the same intensity, the same determination, the same grit. ABC's Wide World of Sports will continue after this word from our ABC station. While our American colleagues go out to take a glass of water or whatever they take stateside in between rounds, Alan Minter probably will be able to tell us. Let's take a check on what was perhaps the most controversial incident of the whole fight so far. I remember we're in round five. Now, this is Andres, of course, in yellow on the right-hand side. We're going to see Harding go over. Michael Watson, talk us through that. Um, I, don't, I don't think it was a punch. Um, I think Dennis dragged him down with his left hand. Yeah, that was definitely a drag down. You'll see him in just a second, Michael. Well, we didn't quite see it, but he turned as if to say, shook his head, said, no way was that a punch. Alan Minter, quickly, just give us a quick comment. Alan, yeah. will the judges disregard that? Hopefully they, hopefully they will, yes. Um, it was definitely a push a pushover. The guy got up and was very embarrassed by going on the floor. So I think they should sort of uh, scrub the two-point decision. All right, we'll know soon enough. Round six coming now. underway in round number six from the Atlantic City Convention Center. Jeff Harding and Dennis Andres in a match to this point that they've dished out some punishment. You have to wonder whether they can go 12. That's what we're scheduled for here today. And again, we're here in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Dennis Andre is the champion in the gold. Jeff Harding in the black. We're underway in round six. Two minutes and 20 seconds remaining here in the sixth round. Dan, I know you're supposed to give a 10-8 round whenever there's a knockdown. I scored that last round 10-9 for Dennis Andre. I just didn't give him the 10-8. The punch, we looked at it on replay in between rounds. It was just a cup, and Jeff Harding's knee, uh, I'm sorry, uh, feet got uh, caught. He just went down really off balance. <laughs> It was obvious that Harding was fine as he popped right up, and in between rounds, we looked in on the corner of Jeff Harding, and here he is sitting.